This is One on One. Hi, I'm Steve Adubato here at the Hackensack uh, University Health Network Fitness Center, powered by the Giants here with uh, Bob Garrett uh, from Hackensack. Bob, I've got to ask you, um, we see this extraordinary facility behind us, beautiful sign, powered by the Giants, Hackensack. You know, you guys are partners. Yes. The genesis behind this, describe it. Well, you know, if you, if you think about it from the hospital's perspective, uh, wellness and disease prevention is a big part of our mission and population health management, which are, is a new buzzword out there. What does that really mean? It means, it means really keeping people healthy and uh, trying to avoid unnecessary medical care wherever possible. This wellness center and this fitness center really fits right into that. We had a pre-existing pre uh, partnership with the New York Giants. It's been a great partnership. We've been, uh, we've been very pleased with it. And it just made sense that two organizations that are known for fitness and wellness in different ways uh, come together and, uh, and host this absolutely gorgeous facility. By the way, on the tour, we're going to meet a couple of the great Giants. One, a player, and one, a top executive with the Giants. Describe who we're going to meet. About Steve, uh, Steve, uh, Steve Waterford. He's a great athlete. He's a terrific punter for the Giants, he right? Is. He's great. And, uh, and, and Mike Stevens, who's the chief marketing officer of the uh, New York Giants, who's been a great partner. We've got front uh, office and right on the we field. We do, we do. And, and describe uh, how important it is that the Giants, I mean, powered by the Giants, why is it so important that the Wellness and Fitness Center are powered, well, it's powered by the Giants? Well, the New York Giants obviously have a, a, a great reputation out there. They're, they're certainly known as, as a quality football team and as, a, um, as an organization that practices fitness and, and wellness. And, you know, I thought I was really struck when John Mara was here, we had a little ribbon cutting. He said this is the first facility that has the New York Giants name on it that the Giants don't own. And I think if you think about that, that's pretty significant uh, for, uh, for the New York Giants to partner with Hackensack on a facility that they actually uh, don't own. And I think that's, uh, that speaks so well of, uh, of, of this facility, of the partnership with Hackensack, and of the, uh, the mission of the New York Football Giants. I promised you a tour. In fact, we were on the uh, Hackensack UMC Fitness and Wellness Center, powered by the Giants tour here at Bob Garrett, who you met before. And let me also introduce uh, Mike Stevens, who is the Chief Marketing Officer for the Giants, and uh, this guy, my right, people know, uh, uh, Steve Weatherford, who is a great uh, player and athlete, a punter for the Giants. I gotta ask you, you they say that this is your first stop. We're in the, uh, the Child Care Center at the Fitness and Wellness Center. This is your first stop. Well, I got three kids, and any time I can involve my kids in something I'm passionate about, whether, whether it's charity or it's fitness and health, uh, you know, I definitely do it. And so this is our first stop every Saturday morning. I come in here. The kids really enjoy it because they get to come in here. Uh, they play activities with the kids, get them to exercise, get them to be active. And at the same time, my wife and I can go have some quiet time in the weight room, in the cardio section. Mike, let me ask you before I go back uh, to the boss over here. The Giants. Bob was saying before in the opening that it's one of the few situations, one of the only really, where the Giants are involved, where they don't run the whole thing. I mean, you guys partnered up. Why partner up? This, this is great community involvement. It's really the first time we've ever put our name on another facility outside of our training center or our stadium. Um, and it's really because we just believe that this is, it's a great way to be a part of our community where we live. It's interesting. Um, Bob and, and, and Mike were having a conversation as we started the tour, and he said, it's one thing to look at it on paper when they were you know, planning it out, but it's very rare that a fitness and wellness center or anything that you plan actually turns out to be better than the way you envisioned it. It absolutely is incredible. Um, and this daycare center here is so important for uh, hospital employees as well. We have a lot of uh, married couples that work at the hospital. And as Steve said, gives them a chance to, uh, to, to drop their children off. They know that they're safe. They're right within the facility. And, and then they can do a great workout together. Steve, set us up. Um, looks like you haven't really seen the gym in a while. Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Tell us what we're about to see as we go into the gym. Describe that facility, because you've been in all kinds of gyms. Describe what is special about that gym and why it isn't just for professional athletes. Well, you know, it's, it's a great facility because it's got everything that you would need in order to get fit, stay fit, or improve your fitness. For me, uh, you know, it's got the weight room. It's got the cardio equipment. Uh, for people that are coming off of injuries, they've got a pain management center. They've got an aquatic center. They've got an athletic development center. For, so for me, uh, it's all in one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the weight room and get a sense as to what goes on there and why it's the kind of wellness and fitness center that is uh, really for everyone. Let's take a look. This gym, it, I will tell you, you walk in, it, it looks overwhelming because it has everything you could imagine, but Steve says it's not. It's very manageable. Tell us why. 
Well, I think the unique place or the unique thing about this gym is, you know, when you come in here and you sign up and you decide to commit to this, they're not just going to give you a, give you a trainer and take you through a, a crazy workout or a workout like mine. What they're going to do, they're going to sit you down with a nurse, uh, see what your deficiency are, see what your blood pressure is. And what, what that does is enables them to build a strong foundation for you before you start to get stronger, improve your flexibility. You really want to see what's under the hood of the car before you start to improve horsepower on it. So I think that's the unique thing thing that Hackensack and the Giants have been able to do is fix problems before they before they occur and it's preventative maintenance and I think that's a very unique um, thing that, that we've been able to accomplish here and uh, you know I'm very proud of it. It's interesting with the partnership and Bob's gonna Bob Garrett's gonna pick up with us in just a bit and talk to us about the uh, the wellness side which is again brings together talk about balance that Steve's talking about the training and the wellness the fitness and the wellness side but Mike let me ask you the role of the Giants themselves. Talk specifically about that because Steve talks about nurses and you got the clinical side with Hackensack involved, but the role of the Giants, powered by the Giants, make that come alive for us. You know, we have a range of things that we're doing. We're working with uh, Quest Diagnostics on sports diagnostics to learn what's happening with bodies on the inside. We're working with Nikes, uh, uh, the Nikes of the world on performance. Uh, we're doing flu shot programs and awareness programs with people like Dwayne Reed and Walgreens. We're working with Hackensack. Uh, with NBC, we do an expo that where we open up our stadium and we opened it to the community last year. We had 35,000 people come in for all sorts of health screenings and testing. So we're very committed to the marketplace with everything down to the youth level. Place 60 is an NFL uh, yeah. league-wide program to youth programs that we customize and run in our local market. And this is an extension of all that. So our trainers are intimately involved with the programming here, consulting here, providing tips. We're surrounded by subject matter experts, nutritionists, you know, people that really know how to help athletes and bring that learning here for the benefit of the members here. You're talking about um, an epidemic in this country. The First Lady, Michelle Obama, has talked about this a lot. You know where I'm going with this. I do. It's childhood obesity. You know, Steve, you got three kids, right? We got four kids. We're concerned about that too. Parents across this country are worried about it. Let's talk about this place in the context of childhood obesity. Well, I think it's important because I think as a child, if you learn to do things correctly, if you learn uh, the importance of exercise as a young child, you learn the importance of nutrition as a young child, you don't run into diabetes, obesity, uh, and all the, the laundry list of things that you're going to have go wrong with your body as it grows older. And I think for me, I try to impress upon my kids, you know, it's not about how strong you are, how fast you are, it's how healthy you are because you only get one body. And I think the most important investment you can make in life is within your body. And so I think that's important because with uh, the partnership of, of Hackensack and, and the Giants, I think it's more than just getting as many members in the door as you can. It's about um, really making it, it infectious for the rest of the community to get fit. Bob, again, there's the fitness side and there's the wellness side. We're over here at the Deborah Simon Center of Integrative Behavioral Health and Wellness. Talk about this side of it, the wellness side. So the wellness side is really all about keeping the population healthy, keeping the population well. And I'm talking about well in a very broad sense. Uh, mind, body, and spirit. So here we have the Behavioral Health Center, and here uh, there are individual and group counseling sessions for uh, folks who need behavioral health uh, intervention. And it's a, it's a very comprehensive uh, program. It's a, it's a great setting. It's an upscale setting. It's easily accessible. And uh, we have uh, trained psychiatrists, uh, psychologists, and a, uh, a comprehensive healthcare team to do those types of assessments and treatments. But Bob, the idea that in a place where you've got people working out, people looking for nutritious food, the whole thing, it belongs all together? It does, all, it belongs all together because wellness is, is the complete picture. As I said, it's, it's not just about uh, working out, it's not just about nutrition, it's about your, your wellness up here as well. And then on, on this side over here, Steve, we have uh, a diabetes education and uh, treatment center, the Mali Diabetes Education and, and uh, Treatment Center. That's something that uh, Hackensack has run for many years, but this moving it in here makes so much sense too. As you know, diabetes we know is one of uh, the chronic uh, diseases that's out there that continues to grow, and we think uh, by having it in a wellness center like that, there'll be much. It'll get much more attention. More people will uh, who are pre-diabetic will come and hopefully uh, be educated about the disease and they'll be able to prevent the ons on onset of diabetes.
part of this whole wellness center is about community education as well. So there'd be uh, programs for the community. We have a cooking studio as an example. Yeah, talk about that. The cooking studio is great. Uh, the cooking studio is a comprehensive cooking studio. We're going to teach uh, the general public or patients to cook and eat healthy. We're going to have uh, chefs come in and demonstrate. Some celebrity chefs, some everyday chefs, some of the restaurants up here in northern New Jersey, some of those chefs have agreed to come and, and uh, be part of it. And it's a great way to really educate people about uh, good, good cooking and good eating. It's so interesting as uh, national health care reform in place, uh, the whole health care model changes, correct, Bob? We've talked about this on the air, many programs, Capital Report, One on One, Caucus, all of our other programs with, with Bob from a public policy point of view, it's shifting fee for service. Fee for service right? to, uh, to- uh, Is that what this is? This is being, this is where ho hospital in this case and uh, is, is being paid for keeping people healthy. Preventive care? Preventive care. And that's part of what the uh, Affordable Care Act is, uh, is all about. So we think it makes, you know, perfect sense. It's a big part of our mission now and it will become more and more prevalent, more and more health care will be delivered outside the four walls of a hospital. It'll be in centers like this, wellness centers like this. And Hackensack happens to be on the, on the forefront of this. But I think within five to 10 years, you're going to see a lot more of these types of wellness centers out there. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Activists in cooperation with the American Medicine Chest Challenge, Choose New Jersey, NJIT, Health Republic Insurance of New Jersey, the New Jersey Education Association, Berkeley College, and by the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.